Hey everyone, Dr. Sean here. Time for another cannabis product review. I hope everyone is staying well. Uh, I hope isolation is not making everyone crazy. Um, hope you're getting through it all right. And um, I'm really interested to find out what cannabis products you guys are consuming. Uh, so please leave that in the comments section below and uh, potentially I'll pick some out and do some future reviews on some of those products that you guys are consuming. So today is another vape cartridge review. Uh, today I'm reviewing the Super Citrus Haze 510 thread cartridge from a Vitas 48 North um, and it looks something like that. All right, so uh, this one retails for $64.95 on the Ontario Cannabis Store, making it a bit more on the higher end of uh, vape cartridge prices. Uh, the potency is very strong. THC on this one comes in at 75 to 85%. The CBD is 0%, no CBD. Uh, it's a sativa dominant strain and the licensed producer that's uh, growing the strain is Delshin Therapeutics and they're based out of Brant County in Ontario. So local guys. Uh, the brand as I said before is 48 North Avitas. The extraction method is the CO2 extraction method. Now I've talked a bit about extraction methods. I've done a lot more research even from the last time I talked about it. It really, so any extraction is potentially good and safe. It just depends on the extractor. They have to know what they're doing. And a lot of uh, what type of extraction method, whether they're using CO2 butane or ethanol. It depends on what they're trying to get out of, uh, of the cannabis product. CO2 um, is very uh, specific, but it's very inefficient. So it costs a lot to do that type of extraction. Uh, but it's also one of the least potential toxic uh, extraction um, solvents. Uh, if you would. Uh, so I like it, but, uh, but you know, they're, the other extraction, solvents, butane, ethanol, um, they're not downright bad. Um, if the extractor knows what they're doing, then they're perfectly safe. So I just wanted to comment on that a little bit. The terpene profile of this one includes beta carophyllene, beta pinene, Cymene, which is a new one, so I had to uh, do a little research about that one. So cymene is also found in cumin and thyme. Uh, it has some anti-inflammatory and analgesic properties to it. So potentially a good terpene to have in your strain if you're treating pain. The last one is terpinaline. Uh, so this one I've known about, and it's not in large concentrations in a lot of strains, but it is dominant in this strain. It's also found in iliac, oh, sorry, iliac, <laughs> there comes my anatomy stuff, lilacs and nutmeg, uh, as well as cumin. And so terpinaline, uh, while a lot of the other terpenes are very distinct in the type of aroma they get off, like pinene is very piney, Linalool smells like lavender, uh, beta carophyllene is peppery. Terpinaline uh, smells like a lot of different things and most people will tell you that it just smells fresh. It also has some antifungal properties, which is really interesting. So it's a good preservative in and of itself to have in your oil. So uh, the Super Citrus Haze, it's a single strain, and what's really cool about this product, it's a full spectrum extract, meaning that they've extracted the cannabinoids and the terpene profile of that strain all together. They, they didn't have to reconstitute it. So um, that's kind of cool, I like that. It's so, almost like a live resin, if you will. So there's no additives, fillers, or flavorings, which as you guys know is a must for me. And uh, so a little bit about my experience with this one. So I just recently got this. I've only used it a couple of times, so keep that in mind. But uh, this is what I have to say about it. The uh, onset of the effects after vaping are quick. The vapor itself um, of note is the robustness of the vapor. So it's probably one of the most kind of like um, rich vapors that I've had in, uh, in a cartridge form. 
It has a really pleasant citrusy taste, so it's very distinct in that citrusy note, just like the name suggests. Um, and the effects are mostly heady. Uh, there's a little bit of a body effect, but not as pronounced as the um, Zenberry that I reviewed before, but it does have a little bit of a body effect. And uh, really what's interesting about this one uh, is that there's really no sedation with this. If anything, it's a little bit uh, energizing or uplifting. Uh, so very true to the sativa um, strain or plant type, if you will. Uh, I don't really like to classify them as, as that, but it is very true to the sativa nature. Um, you're not getting a whole lot of uh, sedation with this, and uh, which would probably make it a good daytime strain. Uh, so all in all, um, I like this product a lot. Um, it, I would say it's sort of on par for me with the Zenberry. The Zenberry would be more of a evening nighttime choice for me, especially if you're using it for sleep. Uh, whereas this would be more of like a, a daytime strain, uh, potentially using it for uh, pain or just, uh, you know, to kind of chill out in this crazy time we're living in. So um, this one gets an 8 out of 10 from me. All right, guys, uh, please subscribe if you like these reviews and want to see more content like this. And yes, please, in the comments section below, tell me what cannabis products you guys are consuming, and I'll see you soon.